My legal team and I will vigorously contest every count of the indictment in which I have been named and also every count in which others are named, for which my knowledge of the relevant facts, law, and constitutional provisions may prove helpful. I am confident that when the law is faithfully applied in this proceeding, all of my co-defendants and I will be fully vindicated. Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, very much. Sir, do you what about the, the false statements that were made during those subcommittee hearings about uh, 130,000 illegal votes cast when every investigation shows that there was I'm not taking any questions and answers, but my attorney can answer anything. Do you regret are you attaching talking, your name to Mr. Trump? Are you talking about the allegations in the lawsuit that they filed? No, the allegations that were made during the Senate, state Senate subcommittee hearing. Was that before or after the lawsuit was unfortunately dismissed after January 6th? That was, I'm not sure when the lawsuit, that was, January, okay. was December 3rd. There, there, are, there are defenses and there are specific um, allegations that we attempted to get addressed in the lawsuit that was filed. Unfortunately, a judge was never assigned to our case all the way up to January 2nd when the phone call was made in an attempt to get the specifics that the Secretary of State had regarding the allegations of um, miscast votes that, that was in the lawsuit. There were two experts that gave affidavits. So not sure what y'all are talking about, but this matter will be litigated in court and I'm confident that uh, Dr. Eastman Sir. will be resolved, uh, absolved. Sir, I wonder if, I know that we're referring questions to your attorney, but do you still think the election was stolen? Absolutely. Absolutely, still? No question, no so, question in my mind. Sir, which of the charges do you think will be the most difficult to challenge, and can you share with us any plans of your defense? Well, if you read our lawsuit, that was the predicate for what was going on in Georgia, okay? The defenses will be the law and the rightful opportunities that we had to challenge the numbers and to determine whether or not there were more miscast votes than the margin of victory. It didn't matter if they were Republican or Democrat. If they were miscast under the election code, then it had to be considered by the Secretary of State. When we kept attempting to get the official statistics as opposed to the ones that we extrapolated from past elections, we were unable to do that. Okay? You'll we'll litigate this in court. Could, could you'll you be tell planning us your name? to litigate. I'm David Wolf. Okay. You'll be planning to litigate you know, with an eight. You'll try to bring up certain proof that it's that not a matter of proving whether or not they were miscast. We had the right to file the lawsuit challenging the totals regardless of who had more votes after determining if there were miscast votes in Georgia that exceeded the margin of victory. But the statements were made, the statements were made during I, I, that. I will add something on that. Nobody has identified. I don't, I don't think that we should, Let me. You know, let, 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 I, just think, I yeah. don't think, I think the Fifth Amendment allows us to yep. let them try to prove what they've put in the indictment that is, is far from being able to be proven. Who's paying your legal fees? I am. You are. Have you talked to the former president at all? Nope. Do you regret attaching your name to the former president? None whatsoever. The president calls and asks for representation. I think every citizen in my position should be willing to stand up for representation. Are you, are you claiming you immunity from prosecution? I'm not answering that question. We're we've got a plane to catch. Thank you yep. all. Thank you all. We wanted to stop, read the statement to you, and uh, 